It doesn't happen all at once, you know. Our minds become converted to the point where evil looks good to us and good looks evil. Generally, it's in some things, not everything. But the Bible gives us great standards concerning right and wrong, and we really need to cling to the truth God gives us. Jesus warned us that in the last days, wickedness would become so abundant that the love of many people would grow cold, becoming desensitized because evil had become so common. But there is nothing new under the sun, and such evil circ circumstances also happened a long time ago. So most of you are familiar with the time Jesus delivered a man possessed with a legion of devils. But when we look at the conditions surrounding this encounter, we'll find that the people of this region have been largely desensitized to the man's condition. The scripture affirms that this man had been possessed for a long time. He also wore no clothes, he had no home, and he lived among the tombs of the dead. The devils had made him strong to the point where even chains could not hold him, but he would break them. And he was continually in the mountains and among the graves. He was crying and cutting himself with sharp stones. We know how that Jesus delivered this man and that the devils had gone out into a herd of pigs, which they stampeded into the water and drowned them. Our Lord had done a great and merciful work, but when it was finished, the reaction of the townspeople was amazing. And this is about their reaction from Mark chapter 5. Then they went out to see what was done and came to Jesus and found the man out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also which saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of the devils was healed. Then the whole multitude of the country of Gadarenes round about besought him, that is Jesus, they besought Jesus to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear, and he went up into the ship and returned back again. Incredibly, when the people of the town saw that the once possessed man was now acting normally, they were afraid. They were even so much affected that they urged Jesus to leave. These people had lived with this evil for so long that it had become normal. And instead of more people flocking to Jesus for help, which they ought to have done, they were urging him to leave. We Christians are in real danger of this happening to us as corruption through the media proliferates and Bible truths are being compromised for the perceived good of many. Have you ever thought about all the killing that takes place on television and in the movies? How often do we watch programs about spies and hitmen and supposed good guys getting revenge. We get the impression that some killing is good and we applaud it. Adultery and fornication is also an expected part of romantic relationships in the media, and we don't even bat an eye when it's being done right in front of us, which also makes it many times pornographic. These are things that would not be done publicly, only in private. Brethren, we must flee from these things and not wink at them. Ephesians 5.11 tells us, that we should have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And then we see from Romans chapter 12, the Bible urging us to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. There is no doubt that the church has been greatly infected by the world. And James 4.4 4 tells us that friendship with the world is to be God's enemy. The way to achieve this renewing of the mind is to first seek as much separation from the world as possible. It's in the company that we keep. It's in the business alliances that we have with corrupt organizations. It comes from a neglect of Bible study and substituting the teachings of learned men without examining them further. The direction from the Bible is our saving hope. It is a true beacon of light to lead us through the darkness of these last days, and it has warned that mankind today will no longer put up with sound doctrine that it teaches, but will instead it will accrue many teachers that will support their lusts. Please test the spirits of those teaching you. Examine the fruit and the tree it hangs, hangs from. Seek the perfect knowledge of God that you may stand before him without shame readily able to distinguish between what is good and what is evil with certainty. Please check out the description for the related scriptures. May God bless.